as gay men growing up in small towns. There's so much Michael and Travis Van Zandt never expected to see in their lives. For Travis, his world started changing 10 years ago. When I was in the military, of course, don't ask, don't tell, was at that stage where it was becoming overturned. We met on uh, Plenty of Fish six, seven years ago. Almost immediately knew that, you know, he was, he was my person. Six months later, June 26th, 2015, Michael and Travis saw something else they never expected in their lives. The Supreme Court had made it legal nationwide. They headed straight to the county clerk to become the first gay couple to be married in Montgomery County, Tennessee. And now comes something else Michael and Travis never expected in their lives. I told Travis, is like, I think I want kids now. They're foster dads. Uh, it took him probably about 10.10 .10 seconds to be on the phone with every foster agency within a 100 mile radius. Now I know my ABCs. Keep going, buddy. What shape is that? Triangle. That's right. Very scary at first. <laughs> of course, going from no kids to having kids, I guess that's like every couple. This is diamond? No. It is a diamond, baby. The decision to foster mm -hmm. felt that's even more point. important to Michael and Travis starting in the middle of COVID. What color is this? With people isolated. Agencies across the country report the number of calls of interest from potential parents slowed during COVID, with unemployment rates up and many just hesitant to bring someone new into their home. COVID also closed courts in the spring of 2020, and social distancing complicated adoption training. Michael and Travis saw this as the right time to become foster parents just like so many other gay couples. Let's take a look at the numbers today. According to the U.S. Census, there are more than 181,000 same-sex households with children in the home. Of those numbers, nearly 21% have adopted children in them. The American Adoptions Agency says about 4% of adopted children and 3% of foster children are with same-sex parents. But adoptions and fostering by gay parents is being discussed by the country again. After Philadelphia refused a contract with a Catholic adoption agency, the Supreme Court unanimously ruled in favor of the agency that refused to place foster children with same-sex couples. Other organizations are looking to work with same-sex parents. Michael and Travis are fostering through youth villages. This organization says they did see their call slow down during COVID, and they're working with families of all backgrounds. Keep it on the paper. There's agencies that deny yep. same-sex couples the right to adopt when there's always kids needing homes. I don't quite understand it. There's so much two men from small towns thought they'd never see, never experience. But together, they say they've watched the world change, watched their world change into one of framed minion pictures, crayons, and construction paper. When I was younger, I just, I never imagined these things would be possible. And it feels great, it feels fantastic. I, I love being a dad.